Hey guys, I um, want to talk to you today about these things, bellum notes. Um, now these are fossils, these three from Whitby. Um, and they, they represent creatures that lived during the Mesozoic era. Um, and they were a big order of, order of creatures. Um, and they died out 65 million years ago. And at the big extinction event that happened at the end of the Mesozoic, the same extinction event that killed killed the last of the dinosaurs. Um, they were superficially quite like squid, um, but they had ten arms um, and no tentacles. They just had arms, so they were just just limbs of manipulating things and nothing else. Um, now this bit that fossilizes, this is how bellumite fossils normally present themselves. Um, this is what's known as the rostrum. Now, if you imagine it as being very similar to the bit of a cuttlefish shell, uh, cuttlefish that you give to give to budgies to to do whatever budgies do with cuttlefish shells. Um, so yeah, that's what this would be. And it would represent um, between a third and a fifth of of the actual creature. So this is what seven to ten centimeters long. So. Three to, three to five times that would be the length of the creature. Um, now this was basically just a weight it was used to counterbalance to keep it keep it swimming flat in the water. Um, and on the end of this, there'd be something called um, the framacone. Now the framacone was um, a small concentric shell coming out here that the creature could use to for buoyancy. It could fill it with air and move itself up and down within the water. Um, effectively making it weightless in the water and making it a very, very good swimmer and some of the some of the more um, better fossilised examples you can still see the muscles and you can see that it was a very, very powerful swimmer it got very, very strong muscles um, so yeah, moving on from there you'd have the arms then, you'd have the, the ten arms now these arms were covered in in small hooks um, to help it to grip its prey, it ate fishes and other marine life. That would help it to grip its prey and keep a hold of its prey. Um, and then at its head, it has excellent eyes, very, very good eyesight, and a big beak, much like octopuses, octopus have today, um, a beak for, for crunching through shells and for, for to aid them with their eating. Um, now, all in all, I can imagine the Bellum Knight was an excellent hunter, excellent predator, um, and not something to be messed with in its larger examples. Um, I wouldn't like to be on the receiving end of one, though. I didn't live back then. Um, so, quite soon I'll be, I'll be talking you through, I'll be doing a very similar video about some of these Ammonites and some of these Kofias. Um, so, I hope you can join me then. Thank you. Cheers.